In this video, we will take a look at what custom channel groups in GA4 are and how to use them. If you go to the traffic acquisition report in Google Analytics 4, one of the dimensions here, unless of course you have customized your report, should be session default channel group. But one of them might be unassigned. This is happening because default channel group is a set of rules that Google has defined. And if your traffic sources don't match any of these rules, they will not be assigned to any group and therefore they will be added to unassigned. So one of the options here would be for you to revisit your UTM parameter naming convention and then make sure that it matches to what Google is requiring in the documentation. By the way, I will post this link below the video. However, another option is to create a custom channel group. In the free version of Google Analytics, you can create up to two custom channel groups where you can split your traffic and put it into different buckets based on your own requirements. For example, here, if I go to the traffic acquisition report, I add a secondary dimension, which is session source and medium. And then in the search, I enter unassigned just to look at what kind of traffic is unassigned. Here, I will see that the first one is not set. There are some technical reasons for that. And if you want to learn more about this, I will post a link to a video below this video. But here we see that also I'm offering some ebooks in the PDF format. So the medium of that traffic is PDF while the session source is this one. Unfortunately, Analytics Mania ebook or PDF do not match any of the rules listed in the documentation. That's why it is unassigned. But as I've said, I can create my own custom channel group and add this to a new custom group that could be called ebooks. So to do that, you would need to go to admin. Then in the middle column, which is the property, you should go to data settings and then channel groups. Here, you will have one default channel group. And as I've said, in the free version, you can create two additional custom groups. To make things easier, I would recommend to not create a new group unless you want to create something very custom, but instead create a copy of the default channel group and then just make some necessary tweaks. So to make a copy, click on three dots and then copy to create new. Here, I will name this, let's say, fixed channel group which means basically that I am going to fix the limitations of the default channel group. You can name this actually whatever you want. Then I don't need this description. And here you have the list of channels. So according to the documentation, you can have up to 25 channels in one channel group. So the default one has 18. So this means you have space for seven more. Or if you don't need some of these, you can just click three dots and remove that channel. Anyway, let's go back to my PDF example. I could say that if the traffic source medium is PDF and it starts with analytics mania, that should be added to my ebook channel group. So let's do that. I will click add new channel and here I will name this ebooks and I will add a condition. So the first condition is that session source must contain analytics mania. Source contains analytics mania, click apply. Then add another condition where medium must be PDF. So medium exactly matches PDF, apply and save channel. What you need to understand right now is that order of channels in the channel group matters. Basically, when a visitor comes to your site from some traffic source, Google Analytics takes that traffic source and then starts checking if that source matches any rules in the channel from top to bottom. So for example, if traffic source matches the rules of the first channel right here, then all other rules are no longer evaluated for that particular session. But if the session is not matching direct, not matching this one, then Google Analytics checks this one. And if traffic source matches this particular channel name, then that session will be added to this group while other channels will no longer be evaluated for that particular session for that moment. So now after I have edited the group, let's say that I will click save. And then if I go to my traffic acquisition report, I can refresh it. And the session default channel group will still remain as it is. We will still have unassigned traffic. But if I choose the dimension here, I will start seeing the custom channel group as well. And if I switch to it and then add a secondary dimension, which is session source medium, 
and then in the search I enter ebooks. Here we will see that the traffic coming from my ebooks is now added not to unassigned, but it is included in the ebooks channel group. And again, the good thing about custom channel groups is that if you mess something up in the rules, you're not actually affecting the underlying data which is stored in the servers. So if you break some rules, basically you could just delete the custom channel group and then create a new one. And now you know how to use custom channel groups in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.